Hi and welcome back to the channel. So, it's time to get the front end on the car. anticipation for me to get this on the car it will look like a mini again which is a big big shout um but it doesn't come about its troubles obviously you've got to line stuff up before you get it nice because once it's welded on it's welded on kind of thing um first point of call is obviously to get the soft frame back in the car um that shouldn't be too difficult tower bolts and then we can put the front panel on and i can see how much i need to trim off the front there um yeah it's quite a big day really this um i hope to have the the, the front ends obviously start welding it up it might not be fully welded, but it'll be in place so we can see how good it's going to look. Um, well, hopefully how good it's going to look. So a quick run through. I've got some bits behind me, which I'll go through in a minute. Um, but we've got a heritage front panel and two wings. Um, now the wings do have the slight little cut out for. Some people that are really into the minis will actually notice that. Um, for the So the later MPI ones for the uh, headlight motors, um, it doesn't matter. but through all the global pandemic and bits pieces like that. They're the wings that we could source at the end of the day. Um, so it's, you, know, you, go, you don't see it when it's in the car, but eagle eyes will see it. But really it's irrelevant. It's got an MPI floor as well. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. But all these items are heritage. So a lot of people comment, say, where do you get your parts, your panels and bits and pieces from? These are most heritage panels. Um, most of this car has been heritage. The only things that aren't are the repair panels for that quarter panel and the door bin repairs, they were from M Machine. Um, everything else is heritage on this car because it's just how we want it to go with it. Um, it. It's a keeper, it's a part of the family of this car. And I'm not saying any of the other cars are done aren't, but there's a different kind of sentimental attachment to it, which means it depicts a different kind of, a bit of attention. So I hope you can appreciate that. Um, but yeah, this front end obviously isn't cheap. So I want to line it up the best I possibly can um, and get it the nicest I possibly can. So. First point of call, like I say, is we'll quickly run for these bits behind me. We'll get the front soft frame back on the car. Um, we'll get the bonnet bolted back on because obviously we need that to line up the wings. Um, and yeah, I think the front panel on the car and we'll have to trim back these inner wing repairs that I've done, but I've left too much, you know, like I did on the MPI, I left too much. So it should be good. This should be a really nice video. It should really transform the look of this car. Um, and then it only leaves the valance and a quarter panel to do on this car panel wise like welding wise um, there's loads of bits and pieces I want to go through and weld properly and bits and you know go back to but the fundamentals of this car the panels will be on it um, and we're really gunning home we've got a bit of a deadline because we've got another project turning up so this car needs to be movable from this garage i.e. welded and ready for a rotisserie spit um, because I don't have the space I did have on the spit I had but I think the, the spit I'm going to get um, it's a proper one it's it's got needs a bit more height so it should be okay under the carport um it also gives me bags more room to work on the car so we can fill this garage of another project which is all good so less of me let's set you up on a time lapse um i won't run through putting the soft frame together and stuff like that because obviously i've stripped it in the previous episode and it's a couple of bolts to put it back on the car so i'll film as much as i can i'm very tight for space in this garage um a good friend of mine actually came to see the projects the other day and come visit and stuff like that i've not seen him in ages and he's like i can't believe how big how small this garage actually is because some people say it's quite a big garage it's not it's like when, when you're actually working in it it's tiny um but i'm privileged i'm not moaning even though it leaks i've got somewhere to work on projects and i'm I, you know i'll be able to make this content for you and get my jobs done so i'm not whinging at all um but we all want a big workshop who doesn't right let's get going Right, so like mentioned, a few bits and bobs have turned up. So these are a bit irrelevant. That's a filter for the club one. And that's a filter for the sidewalk. So yearly services are coming up, so they can uh, be put aside for now. Um, a few bits of mini mine. Those came from mini mine as well, as did these. So in here, we have got a set. Get them out. Teardrop mounts. So basically we're going to use these to line up the top frame so we've got two of them got some new bolts for it to overkill the stainless but i mean you know the car will get them put on at the end so got them to hold on all the teardrops and got some um, mounts so they go obviously on the beneath the top and bottom of the the uh, bulkhead there 
so they sit on the top of the subframe either side there so a little haul of bits and pieces have been collecting just to get the subframe in um the mounts for the actual tow board are actually still on the car i never bother taking them off so they're good to go so that's why i didn't order them obviously if they if they need to change and we'll swap them out when we put the car together so let's get these few bits and pieces bolted on and uh yeah big thank you for mini mine for obviously impeccable delivery because it's just ridiculous come so quickly um yeah so front end time Right, so there's the suffering back in obviously that will be clean and painted absolutely no point doing it right now um i've also prepped up and painted all that side of the the wing so it all matches now obviously we did all the repairs ground all that one back so now both inner wings are uh prepped up so like i say tower bolts line it up with the bushes and that's all for like lining up purposes but obviously they're brand new poly bushes so we will use those they're not overly torqued but i just wanted it somewhere close so yeah, already looking at these repairs I've done, the price is about half an inch too far forward. Um, so we will have to lop a little bit off there, but like I say, better to do that than not enough. Uh, so yeah, it's in there. It's nice to see something back on the car, to be fair. Um, so next point of call is I'll set you guys back up. Let's get the front panel on. Right, so first impressions anyone notice the big problem yeah there's the inner wing and there's the wing that sat next to each other so i need to cut out a bit of that you can see it's far far too close um i didn't expect to have that issue with a heritage front end i'm not gonna lie but nothing sat properly so this front end panel needs to sit in a different position and i'll bring that gap closer um fairly nice around here again i've not i've not tried to make any gaps or anything just kind of wanted to see roughly what it looks like and it looks pretty crap really um and it's all down to the fact that i've left too much metal at the front there um so what i'll do is i'll whip all this off um and uh yeah we'll reseat this i think revisit this area because nothing's going to sit right until this front panel is near where it needs to be um yeah it's basically fouling uh, got me down in there it's fouling on on the front panel there so i need to just take that chunk out both sides basically like i said i left too much because there's too much and too little but on the plus side hey looks kind of like a mini again i mean that fits really nice along there I mean, obviously that's being bought tight once the back, back panel, front panel goes back a bit, but yeah, they fit nice along there anyway.
so this is fitting a lot better so as you can see that is now underneath there which is where it should be um this one does fall tight i need some tech screws but that's in the right place as well um we're nice all the way around there the wing does go down which forms a actually perfect gap um this wing kind of needs to come out because the bonnet catches the bonnet's nowhere near in the right place i need to work away with these bolts a little bit because it's kind of got cobbled together a bit but to be honest it fits really nice down there all the way around there it's just that's why you buy heritage that's why i do it shops the first look at that like that let me try and get you guys some light like look at that so you remember the mpi it's stuck out there look at that it's absolutely flush all the way up it's the same gap all the way around so really happy with that that side sitting quite nice um front panel sitting back where it should be now which is good again around there this wing just needs to go back a fraction but again a lot lot better um and really nice gaps at the top here so again it'll go down a little bit once it's pulled tight but yeah that's a lot better a lot a lot better all right guys um that's not the end of the video don't worry i've got a lot of work to do so um this is one evening of tackling it and we've got this far which is really good really promising um getting wings right it's difficult it's not not an easy task um you need to get the bonnet in the right place and stuff like that i should have marked the bonnet before but the car that the front end that was on the car was bent anyway so it was irrelevant but get the bonnet where i want it on the scuttle i think is the biggest thing first and then we pull the wings in tight but i don't think we're really miles off which is mint really really good it's well worth buying heritage for that reason so yeah i'm gonna go show mrs simpson because you like to see a front end on this car and i'll be back to you in a in a moment right so from having another look at it we are pretty tight at the front and the bonnet's a little bit proud um but if you look at the back we've got a big gap at the back so the bonnet needs to come back a bit um it's fitting kind of it's in it's not touching the wings but it's too tight um at the front way too tight um i kind of want that gap that's here all the way down so what i think we need to do so we're gonna just get the bonnet loosened again and we're trying to push the bonnet back to hopefully clear this so it doesn't it's a little bit proud there um and yeah it's fitting nice along here so right time up got time time ugh, time lapse time guys let's do it
Right, I'm not gonna lie, that went pretty well. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Not gonna lie, uh, it makes a massive difference having heritage panels. It's this car is accident damaged as well. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you that. So, this car was like you can't really see. I guess you can there a little bit. So it curves all the way in. The indicator was actually pointing a little bit away. Um, yeah, it was always damaged this car, and. Uh, Obviously, it's just absolutely lagged with bog. Always had a grey wing ever since I've known my missus. Um, and this side, um, again, it's a good wing, but this side, you always notice that, you can always notice that, I mean, you can see the distance between the grill there to the distance of the grill there, like you can really see it. Um, so it's always bent. But my repair thinner wing must have been fine because that's now pointing dead straight. Really happy with that. And look at what we've managed to achieve. So. Some close-ups guys so literally that is completely that i'm really happy with that that line comes straight off literally follows all the way along the back of the bonnet nice consecutive line and lines back up so this is quite a good point for some people that are doing this i always try and line up my back of my wing so this corner with that bonnet and there that is a lovely tight gap as well um it's all lined up nice down there. The wing meets nice. Really, really tight. Nice. So this was the biggest side that was the problem. I managed to get this side okay. Um, if you saw, I took the wing back off and I used a tech screw, bought them straight over. Um, and it's bought the top of the wing over perfectly. So this is actually a nice gap all the way up. All the way up there. I'm really impressed with that. So we don't know the history of this bonnet. We're assuming it's the original, but the rest of the car wasn't really original. Um, and now we've got a gap all the way i'm actually really impressed with that that's probably one of the nicest front ends i've ever put together um the biggest issue i've got now is i've got to take it all off to prep it so that really happy with that really really happy so i'll get mrs simpson out in a bit get her seal of approval as it's her baby but yeah proper chop with that Right guys, that is all for this episode. So we're gonna split this into two parts, um, basically the mocking up and the final assembly. So what I'm gonna do from now is I'm just gonna get a Sharpie pen and just mark off where the tops of the wings meet, where the bonnet meets. Um, fronts of the wings aren't too bad, you can jiggery poke them back in, but this is where I want it to be. Um, really, I'm really quite happy with it, I'm not gonna lie. It's gone really well. Um, if anything, the bonnet can come back a fraction but we're absolutely flush at the front. I might bring it back a fraction. I might on the final assembly, but everything needs to come back off now, clean everything up. We're gonna do a bit of spot welding down the um, A panel seams and stuff like that. Spot welder isn't the best, it doesn't get in everywhere. Um, I could do with investing in some like longer arms and things like that, um, but I can't complain. So it's still on loan to me, the, the spot welder, so I can't knock it really. Uh, but I'm really, this is probably one of the nicer front ends I've ever put together and it does pay to have good panels. It really, really does pay. Um, it is really nice. It's gonna look nice this car, I think. So, yeah, I think I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. Start cleaning it up. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really happy with it. As you can probably tell, um, this is literally taken. I mean, for you guys, it's probably you know I don't know how many in the video, but to just get from how it was fitting originally to how it was now, it has merely been 15 minutes, and it's, I'm really happy with the results. So all I did is pull wings in. So really happy with it. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. It helps us get noticed in the algorithm for YouTube. Um, also, please check out our sponsors, link in the description below, Frost Restoration. Um, yeah, I am really happy with this car. So yeah, if you haven't already, also subscribe to our channel because obviously this car is really cooking on gas now. We're really pushing. Once the front's done, we've got the rear quarter on this side to do. We've got to finish that little quarter off on that side. Then we're gonna get it on rotisserie spit, get the balance on, get it painted underneath. And I just want this thing out of here. Um, not in sense it's gone, but we've got projects out now, guys, and I want to rattle through them. So really happy with this. So I'm gonna keep coming out in the evenings after work. It does kind of help your mind a little bit just to get so you enjoy a little bit more. And um, yeah, really happy. Thank you for all your support, all your lovely comments on um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. You're all commenting away really well. I'm also on Twitter now. If you haven't already, please go check us out on there. Um, I try and post the videos up on there as well, and um, just bits and bats. But I'm really, I'm really, really happy with it. So catch you next one, guys, when we get this thing welded up for good.